welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green. Um, so we are going to get started with the show in just a few seconds. I'll be taking callers on the call log. The number is 845-277-9131. And we will also be uh, I'll be answering we, me, and the angels <laughs> will be answering questions from um, uh, online from YouTube chat if I can get back and forth. So every time the camera comes on and I see how I look on the camera for the first time, I'm like, oh, what the heck? Like today I'm looking at my bangs going what did you do with them? Okay, that's that's not a real problem, but it's an issue. I'm just saying. All righty. I am going to, hey, Patrick. Uh, so I have so many people on uh, YouTube right now. I just adore them because they are always there. Hey, Genevieve. Genevieve, Patrick, Mimi, Sal, Heather, Jana. And who else, who else, who else, who else? There might be somebody else. If I forget you, please don't, don't be offended. If you're um, watching on YouTube, please just uh, say hi. If you want to say where you're from, I'm going to start the show with a healing or a clearing. And the clearing today, the very, very, very first clearing is going to be um, a step where <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Patrick. It's really sweet of you. Um, he said to stop. Patrick said, stop worrying about my bangs. Um, for those of you watching on TV that can't read the YouTube chat. Okay. The very first healing we're going to do today is for, hmm, hey, Amy, for self-love. Let's go there. We're going to do self-love. I'm going to say we unconditionally love ourselves. I get a no. Ooh, so we're going to start with that. And I feel that right here, which is where the fear is. You would expect to feel it here, but this is the chakra for fear. So I'm feeling it right here first. And then it works its way up. Now, if if you're watching this or listening to this, re-watching this, re-listening to this, you might feel it here. You might feel it someplace else in the body. It might feel like uh, pressure anxiety, whatever it feels like, it's okay. It's working its way out. Just allow it to let it, allow it to work its way out is the best way I can say that. I can already tell on blog talk, uh, there's a little bit of static on the line. I hope it's not horrible. It actually sounds like my phone is being tapped. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know what it sounds like when your phone is being tapped. Uh, but it's very staticky. So we're going to hope that that goes away. And we're going to go to the very first caller, which is um, 918. Ah, it went away. Uh, hey, 918, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Muskogee, Oklahoma. Hey. Clara Gordon. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I yeah. love the bang. Oh, thank, thank you. I, I, you know, I, I call it my bang talk, so I don't have to get Botox because, you know, the bangs cover the forehead. But today they're just like, <laughs> I don't know. They're like, they're, they're doing something weird today. <laughs> okay, but enough about <laughs> Enough about that. What? How can I help you today? What's your question or connection that you would like to go into? Well, uh, I've come out of a divorce after four years, and my youngest kid of five is graduating, and I'm just starting all over in life, and I'm kind of uh, wondering if I'm going to get out of this little bit of financials slump and uh health slump that i'm in yeah okay so let's let's do a clearing first we're going to do a healing or a clearing on um on that and i think oh, we're gonna do i i have a lot of clearings on my other shows for abundance 
So if you go back and Mimi is amazing. She has um, uh, time stamped the clearings. Excuse me. So let's do an, an, a clearing on health just in general. Um, and I'm going to do it in a way that it will be uh, good for for everyone for for any health issue. So we are healthy, and I'm getting a no. So I'm going to clear that now. If you're if you're perfectly healthy, this won't affect affect you. But if you're if there is a health issue, it will start to clear it for you. And this can be emotional, psychological, um, even financially healthy. Just all around health. Uh, the next thing I want to say is, yes, you have, a, I believe it's a grandfather on the other side who is looking out for you and guiding you and helping you with your moving forward. This gentleman who's appearing behind my, like kind of to the, to my right shoulder and above um, is in denim, a de denim bottoms and um, like a button up shirt. Not fancy, though, like a ca casual button-up shirt. When I said button-up, he right away said not fancy and showed me like a business shirt. Uh, I feel like he was a very hardworking man. And I do feel like he, um, he well, I know he's there helping you. Uh, he was not a really, really big, like uh, big built man. Um, but But he is there and he is helping you. And he's going to be guiding you and bringing you some, he's calling them resources over the next, uh, well, at least six years, but it will continue even after that. The next six months are going to be your setup months. Now, by setup months, I think what they're referring to is that you're going to start setting everything up. And if, if you just take the steps, if you just go one step after the next and don't, don't worry about like, of course you're going to worry about breathing, but don't worry about breathing. Right. Uh, just keep taking your steps and everything is going to fall into place. I feel like as you take uh, one step right after the other, over the next six months, just doing one thing and then the next and then the next and just keep moving. After that six month period, everything is going to be okay. And it's going to build from there. I do feel like you're going to have a, a little bit of luck in a couple of areas. This doesn't mean hit the casinos. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> well, I do feel like um, the right place, right people, right things are going to fall into your lap. And you're going to have um, just those really good connections come in. I do feel like as far as work goes, I feel like you're going to hear about something from somebody who knows somebody or some uh, it, either. It, it, I, okay, I, I see a woman talking to you and telling you about something with work. Now, if you're already working, this could be something you can do on the side that is going to help you, or it could be something you do, um, a, a job coming in. Either way, it's either a step up or a side step. Now, a side step, to the way they're stating it right now, is something you can do to add on to what you already have. Who I am going to tell you financially, in a very short period of time, and for everybody, a short period of time is different. As long as you take those steps, everything is going to fall into place. I do feel like there is going to be something that you can do on your own, even if you are working a job, a day job where you get uh, a paycheck. I do feel like there's going to be something on your own because I keep hearing the term side hustle, side hustle, side hustle. Now, not all side hustles are a literal business that you open up and you have to get a storefront. Some, some are, you know, like multi-level things. And if you don't like multi-level things, I used to be very, very like, I'm not going to do a multi-level thing. And then I tried Spark. <laughs> okay. I'm not a distributor of it because well, I, I love it. It's like my favorite beverage. I put it in my water. But anyway, let's stay here and I'll go back to Spark in a minute. Um, 
But okay, so what I feel like is you might have two things going, but one of them is going to definitely be your own schedule. You're not going to have to worry about, um, you're not going to have to worry about um, like being able to work it into your schedule because you're going to be able to do it when you want to do it. Whew, okay, I hope that was helpful. <laughs> Uh, extremely, extremely, uh, first time ever doing anything like this. And a good girlfriend of mine told me about you. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, you gave her a blessing and you just gave me a good blessing. And, uh, I thank you very much and appreciate it with everything I got. Oh gosh. Th thank you so much. It is so wonderful to hear that. I love that. I love it. Um, and just, you know what, Th again, through the next six months, just uh, keep going. You're not going to regret it if you do take one step after the other. And, you know, uh, breakups are really difficult, divorce, whether you're the, you're married or not. And what I'm going to say to you is, um, especially when children are involved, there's a lot of re-landscaping for you and for for, for any children involved. And the best thing I can say is um, the, the term I'm hearing is bounce back. Make sure your bounce back game is strong. Um, you can, like, I know a lot of people who go through divorce and they break down in the shower, they break down in the tub, but in public, their bounce back game is strong and they never, they, they just... They grab onto that. Now, this is like a restart and I'm going to recreate my life and I'm going to be the person I couldn't be in the relationship and I'm going to run with it. And I feel like there is definitely a side business or a side hustle or something that you can do on the side that's going to become quite um, powerful for you. And your, your grandpa is saying now that that... <laughs> And I, I, I'm not going to say this is your ex. I'm just going to say your grandpa is saying now that the anchor has been released from your ankle, you have no excuses. Run. Okay, love? It, extremely. It, it, exactly. Yes. Uh, I have took it one day at a time and I have, uh, I have accomplished more in the last four years than I did in the 20 years of marriage. I love that. Uh, financially and emotionally has been a, a void straight up. I love and it. And health wise has, has been a void. I lost a lot of weight. I had started my own business and then a COVID hit. And now I've had kind of a little bit of health issues and I'm just in a little slump and I've got, uh, I've got, I've got the direction. I just, you know, uh, I needed an, I needed to hear just something else to make sure that that direction was going the right way. You are, And I take it day by day, step by step. It is. And you are, and stay strong. And um, thank you. Thank you so much for calling in. And I look forward to hearing from you again in the future. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. You are welcome. I'm going to be doing another clearing right now. Let's do a clearing for abundance. So I'm going to say um, money is coming to each and every one of us in large amounts. I get a no. So let's clear that to a yes. Whew. I don't know if anybody else felt that, but I felt that. So hopefully, hopefully everybody else is feeling that. If you're feeling it and you're on YouTube Live, um, go ahead and let me know. So if you're watching or listening on a podcast or watching on any of the TV stations that I air on and you would like to join us live, I'm live every Monday and Wednesday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes. Um, so please uh, join us. You can call in, you can chat in with us. It's, it really is a great, 
deal of fun. And everybody on my YouTube chat that watches YouTube live, they just love it. Uh, before I take the next color, I just want to say that, um, you know, coming into the next year or two, it's going to be really, really important that um, businesses, business owners and businesses um that first of all let me let me say this that er, people really consider a side business um or an independent business and if you if you it doesn't have to be something huge and i always say slow and grow start small and let it grow with you grow with your business don't think you have to walk in and have this huge thing just start very small, have a space and start doing your business. I'm going to tell you over the next, again, year or two, even if you um, if you work for someone, just start something on the side. I don't care what it is. And have your backup plan. Let's say it's something on the side and you... you I'm trying to um, state this very, very carefully. The way I state it is just as important as what I'm saying right now. So when you start your side business, and I think everybody should have a side business that can grow into their full business, their purpose, their passion, whatever it is, whether it's um, doing something aesthetically or doing something um, CBD or whatever it is, make make sure that if something happens, you have a place to do it, whether you can do it out of, out of your home or you can get a small space to do it. Over the next couple of years, especially the next year to two years, it's going to be really important for people to take their power back and to know that they have control of some sort of income, regardless of what happens around them. And if you do take this piece of advice and start a side thing, make sure you're taking that money because that's extra money, reinvest it into whatever you're doing, but then also stash that cash. I'm just saying stash that cash. Don't think I have extra money. I can get a bigger TV. I can get a newer phone. I can get a, um, oy, I think I just lost something here. Hold on everybody on uh, the call in. I'm going to call back in. Just give me a second here. Um, so make sure that you are taking the time to make that money and put it away. Um, it's going to be really, really important to do that. Give me one second while I um, while I try to get back online here. Don't hang up people online. I'm coming for you. Um, who knows what's going on on the East Coast right now with their... Uh, with their um with the weather and stuff like that or the internet it's very difficult to know so just hold on i am using blog talk radio hopefully goodbye oh nope <laughs> i think there's a problem with blog talk but i'm just going to continue on youtube so if you are on blog talk 405-612-251 everybody else um Switch over to YouTube and I'll be answering questions via YouTube today because clearly um, blog talk is or the, the phone connection might not be as strong as we had hoped. OK, so let's go back to the, the side thing and just say if you can do a side thing, definitely do your side thing. Definitely get into that space where you are making that extra money. And if you are working someplace, like if you're an acupuncturist, if you're a nail person, if you do whatever you do, make sure you you are set up that you can also do that out of your home at some point, 
if need be. Now, if you can't do it out of your home, for whatever reason, find somebody who has a small office space or find somebody else who wants a small office space and join them. Now, and make sure you're not, um, not um, overspending on it. It's something that's supposed to bring you money, not something that's supposed to drain your money. And I know in the beginning, sometimes some things it takes money to make money. But for most of us, we can start something now that doesn't cost a lot of money in the beginning, especially. OK, so really consider that. Um, figure out what your thing is. There are so many things out there that we can be passionate about and we can start. And over the next year, I am just going to tell you that over the next year, it is going to be so important that we take our power back as far as our ability to earn income and to have extra money coming in. OK, whether you learn a skill or a trade or a healing or whatever it is, I don't care what it is. Start now and you will be there sooner than you think. And I don't know why I'm getting it's going to be over a year over the next year. We're really going to need to do that. Sometimes I get part of the story, but not the whole story. So if they're giving the message, it's really important that we get uh, that I give the message. Uh, there's a couple of other things that I want to say. I'm going to um, turn this kind of into a prediction show. Um, and whatever comes out, comes out. <laughs> and again, I'm just a messenger. I am just a messenger. So don't... Um, don't uh, get don't uh, come come for me. I'm the messenger. If you don't if you don't trust the message, if you if you think, oh, that can't be true. Ask your angels. Go into that space of breathing and ask your angels. So the first thing I'm hearing again, I'm hearing tsunami, 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 tsunami. So I feel like there's going to be some weather stuff coming in. I feel like it's going to hit a coast, not one of our coasts. I feel like, again, this is going to be an Asian coast. An Asian coast is about to get hit with a lot of water, huge water. Now, I'm not going to say that this is, um, I'm just going to leave it at that for right now. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm also going to say um, there's a lot going on in the media, and we know we know there's a lot going on in the media. Um that's a good way to put it. Don't follow the main stories. Go behind the stories to the other, other, the, what's behind the stories. So like right now in the media, there's this big trend of um, what's a girl and what's a woman and what's not a woman. Really? That That's a big media thing? It's not. It's not. That's a cover for what's really going on and what they're doing. So don't pay attention to that. Get If you're interested, if you really wanna know, follow what's behind that. That's the more important thing that's really going on. And I'm not gonna go into all the, the things that are really going on. By the way, does everybody know Hillary's about to be indicted? <laughs> I shouldn't be so happy about that. <laughs> But I guess you can't spy on a sitting president. Hmm. By the way, did everybody know that the computers have been verified? The laptops have been verified? Oh, none of that's in the news, is it? Okay, let's go to this. We're going to go back to what people need to do over the next couple of months for themselves. Um, Obviously, the side job is really, really important. The side job is super duper important. So make sure that you're working on something on the side, okay, so that you can be in a space where you are setting yourself up and you have extra income. Also, one of the messages that I'm getting, um, get acquainted with farms in your area. 
If you are a meat eater, get acquainted with the farmers in your area and go farm to table. Go directly farm to table, especially with meat. Know your farmer. I'm just going to say somebody with the initials BG owns most of the farmland and has recently said we should start eating synthetic meat. They've come up with a process that takes a calf from birth to like full grown calf ready for, you know, to go to the um, packaging in 90 days. Whatever they're putting in that meat ends up in you. Know your farmers and get your meat directly from those farmers. That's that's imperative, imperative over the next couple of years. Okay, that is, and if you can't afford a, a, a whole, let's just say cow, work with your neighbors, work with your family. All of you go in together on something or ask the farmer to 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 help you find other people to split whatever meat you're going to get. It's imperative for your health and for your organs, for your organs. It is imperative if you are going to eat meat to get it this way. They don't have to put this on the packaging. They don't. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you all a little story. I can't do antibiotics, as most of you know, because you've watched me. And I went into a local grocery store and the the uh, packaging for the meat um, said natural, no antibiotics, no hormones. So I went to the uh, meat counter and I said, is this no antibiotics and no hormone? They go, well, that's what it says. And I, I knew, I just knew, I knew. Let's just say maybe I'm psychic or something. Ha, 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 ha. Um, and I said, well, I'm allergic to antibiotics. And the, the look on his face and right away he said, no, 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 don't buy it. Don't buy that then. And I just looked at him and he said, it only has to be antibiotic and hormone free the last 60 days of its life for that to be on the package. Wake up, folks. Wake up. So that's a really important message for everybody to really take heed in. One more thing. We're going to start to hear about a lot of um, people. Um, you know what? I, I, I'm going to save that for the next show. I don't, I don't want to talk about that today. I think we've, we've done enough deep diving. And since I can't take callers because the call log went down, I want to thank everybody so, so much for being here, for joining me. I'll be back Wednesday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes. Please call in then if I didn't, if I wasn't able to get your call today because of the phone lines, I, I apologize so much. I love each and every one of you so very, very much. I look forward to um, I look forward to Wednesday. I want to thank you, Lolly, for joining me. Uh, I want to uh, thank uh, Mimi for marking, time stamping the healings, and Patrick and Genevieve, um, Amy, everybody. Thank you so much for being here with me. I love you guys so much. Until next. Until Wednesday, until Wednesday, have an absolutely amazing day.